Welcome everyone to Eye of the Serpent Tarot for the first of what will probably be a, a series of deck reviews or deck introductions that I'll do over time on my channel. In a recent community post I asked what sort of different content people might want as we go into 2022 and this was one of the, the particular options which was sort of deck reviews and, and introductions and people were interested in that so that you will certainly see more in the future but I thought I'd go ahead of my own schedule and do one prior to 2022 because of of the alchemistical tarot which has just just arrived today which is really exciting it's actually a kickstarter that I backed this year and it came through very quickly and efficiently and easily so it was a great experience uh, to deal with Sarah Roberts who ran the Kickstarter program and so I'm very thankful to her and to her artist Chinkal Parikh who did these gorgeous cards which we're going to go through so I thought why wait why not actually come in and actually show these for people who are interested in this tarot and one of the things that really really drew me to the tarot apart from the fact that the the pictures of the Kickstarter were gorgeous and you'll see that as we go through them was that it's got a really interesting design you'll see it here it says a 92 card deck featuring five elements so it has the earth fire air and water are all pentacles swords cups and one sort of energy of any typical tarot but it also has a a suite of cards or a suit of cards for spirit and I, and I found that a really interesting addition to to bring to readings particularly readings that have a, a spiritual sort of focus to it but even beyond that in all of our life our spirit is is also a very key part to how we make our decisions how we live our life how happy we are and all those sorts of things and so I just thought it was a very inspired thing to add to the tarot uh, and then of course all the rest with the major arcana and the other suits are familiar but getting to know the spirit spirit side of it's going to be an adventure and I'm really looking forward to doing that and using the deck in more detail so it comes in this box, quite a large box because I guess it's a large deck. That's the, the back to the box. At the back it says, a seeker's experience. Alchemistical tarot is a unique tool to assist seekers in reconnecting with their spirit using the five elements of life. The elements of water, air, fire, earth and spirit combine to produce alchemical experiences which mirror the inner condition. This, is, this rare deck includes the often forgotten fifth element of spirit. Learn to witness and connect to your inner world by viewing subconscious patterning, belief systems, conscious awareness, physical experience and connection to your higher self. So that's the overview of it. And you can see why you know, it's of interest to anybody who loves tarot and loves spiritual sides of things. It comes with a booklet which has colour pictures, so that's very gorgeous, with a little bit of a, an interpretation for each of the, the various cards, which will be particularly interesting when looking at the, at the elements that are around spirit, just to sort of see how they accord numerologically and, and similarly to the other suits. So I've only just got this, so I've yet to explore that and get into the, the book and the deck in more detail. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the cards one by one in the way that, that I've seen. I'm going to, in other people who've done these sort of things, I'll try and zoom in and just go through them. I'm not really clever with music and things like that, so I can't play beautiful music while we're doing this. So I'll just turn the cards and if something really strikes me, I'll talk about it. But the main thing is for you to see the cards and experience them for yourself. So let's just zoom in a little bit. Okay. So we start with the full, which is really rather lovely with the sort of sense of jumping not just into the unknown but into this beautiful sort of floral pattern from the magician. The high priestess. Well, I like the Empress card. There's such a sense of nurturing in that card. The Emperor, you'll see that it has different sort of words here, so it says electric. And you get that sort of sense of the electric energy around the Emperor. 
the Hierophant. It says Perspective. That's a beautiful Hierophant card. The Lovers. I like that concept. The Lovers is fusion, bringing things together. Chariot. Strength. The Hermit. Analysis. That's an interesting, interesting perspective on the Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. That's gorgeous, actually. What an interesting, what an interesting sort of pictorial thing for justice, that sort of sense of the, the ribbon and the, the blindness in that way, in the balance with the flowers. The Hanged Man. I like the sense that has has a sense of momentum around it that Hanged Man cards often don't have, and the sort of concept of selection, where you have that different perspective. Death. Temperance. The Devil. The Tower. The Star. That looks a little bit like a little girl that I know, so that has a nice association for me, just personally. The Moon. The Sun. Judgment as Awakening, which is a really nice energy around judgment, I think. The world. Wow, I like the world. The sort of heart center of the spirit. So then we get to the first of the suits, which is water, which is obviously like cups. So ace of water. Two. Three. Four. So there's subtle, there's subtle differences in some of the words to sort of say the Rider Waite Smith. So I'll be very interested to sort of look more in the book over time. Like integration for the Four of Water is an interesting take on the Four of, of Water or Four of Cups. And Five of Water being awareness. That's that's a, that's a very positive take on it of becoming aware of what there still is as opposed to what maybe was lost. Six of Water. Seven of Water. Eight, nine, ten of water. I love resonance as a word for ten of water. And the seeker of water is obviously the the page. Traveller would be the knight. Mystic would be the Queen. And the Alchemist. Ah, the Alchemist is the King. Ace of Air. Two of Air. Three. Fragment is an interesting reading of the Three of Swords or Three of Air. Four of Air imprint. Five of Air. Six of Air. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and the seeker or page, traveler or knight, mystic or queen, an alchemist of air, like that. 
and a sense of truth. There's a lot of strength in that image. Ace of Fire. So all the aces are very simple. They have basically the elemental sign for them. And Ace of Fire here is consciousness. Two of Fire. Three of Fire. Four. Five. So picking up an energy of discernment rather than normally the sort of victory, but there is still that sense of actualization in that card. Seven of fire. Eight of fire. Nine of fire. of fire the seeker the traveler and they got in the wrong direction there so the mystic would be next presence and then the alchemist Ace of Earth, Two of Earth, and Three, Four, Five, Six. Seven, eight, isn't that beautiful? What a beautiful card. Nine of Earth. Ten, I love that. The concept of the tree of life grounded in the earth, that's gorgeous. Seeker of Earth. Traveller of Earth, Mystic of Earth, Alchemist of Earth, and here we have the new suit, so Spirit. So Ace of Spirit is like a download, so that makes sense, like that, that kind of undifferentiated energy that we've seen in all of them for the Ace. Two of Spirit is the code. Three is arrangement. Four is assimilation. So it does seem to be following so far the kind of broad numerological principles that you sort of see in each of the suits, you know, with the, the modifications depending upon the type of element. But it is having that sort of sense of sort of differentiation, tuning, assimilating, sort of the foundations and so forth. Five of spirit is vibration. So that could be changing frequencies and so forth. Six is reception. Seven is frequency. So that, I guess, connects with all the attunement as well. Eight is the construct. Nine is translation. is crystallization isn't that beautiful like the coloring in that is just gorgeous and the seeker of spirit has the message or receives the message the traveler of spirit understanding the mystic retention that's really interesting that makes me think about retaining spiritual knowledge, retaining spiritual energy, and even in between lives, it makes me think of. And then the alchemist, clarity. Because, of course, once you've really alchemized your spirit, that's what you should have, is clarity. So that, obviously, is the back of the cards. They're not theoretically reversible. Um, 
depending upon how you do your readings, but that doesn't bother me particularly. I'll use them reversed potentially anyway because the sort of readings that I do, we tend to see on screen. So what's beautiful, I mean, all the beautiful imagery in this, these cards drew me to them originally. So there's a, there's a great deal of beauty in that. I do find it interesting that there are some things that feel to me very Rider Waite Smith and other things that feel like a departure from that. So I'm going to be very interested in getting into the book and, and reading that in more detail and seeing how Sarah has brought all that together. And in particular, delving into more detail about the spirit cards. Because as I say, to me, that was one of the big draw cards for this, to actually get a deck that, that looked at that dimension of things. I think is you'll see this card in, these cards in high rotation, I would think, in readings that are around spiritual matters. I do tend to schedule quite a bit in advance, so... I'll pepper it through the ones that I have at the moment so that you don't have to wait a couple of months to see this deck in action. But um, you will see it more and more, I think, into 2022. I do think it's very beautiful. I don't, cardstock doesn't really bother me that much, but it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty firm and so forth. It's, you know, slightly different sort of size to a typical tarot deck. Wait for a second, I'll just pause and get one for a comparison. So if we just compare it to, say, the 8th House Tarot, just as an example, you can see it's, it's quite a bit bigger. It's not as big as, you know, the average Oracle card, I don't think, but it's bigger than, than the traditional Tarot. Again, that doesn't bother me. Some people, these sort of things bother, so I'm just going to talk about them, but it certainly doesn't bother me. And I, I just think it's such a beautiful deck. And so beautifully thought out and I'm really looking forward to using it and to to learning more about the way that Sarah has connected up as I say the sort of spirit side of this into the cards in a more general level it's an, an extra element as far as I'm concerned because there is some people would argue that the major arcana is the spirit's journey but I feel like that is the hero's journey and it is just as grounded and practical as it is spiritual it can operate on a number of different levels so the concept of having this extra suit that is looking at the aspect of the spirit and what's downloaded and maybe even spiritual lessons and so forth, as I say, is, is very exciting and very interesting. And it's just lovely that it's in such a beautiful deck with such beautiful cards. So that's just a bit of an introduction to it. I very much recommend that people check it out and look at getting their own copy. I'll put details around that in the description box below for where you can purchase it now that the Kickstarter is over. And I very much look forward to, to using it and to getting any thoughts or feedback you have on the cards. Other than that, I hope for my first go through of a, a, a deck, a new deck, that this was interesting and that you enjoyed it and any thoughts you have on the deck i'd love to hear about in the comments below otherwise i'll see you later